so hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here on this channel we discuss all things that has to do with fish farming business be it catfish farming tilapia ornamental fishes yes that's what we discuss right here so today we'll be discussing four major mistakes i made when i started fish farming business learn from this mistake so that you can avoid them also channel or you've not subscribed yet click the subscribe button down below yes you can see just click it because on this channel you wouldn't want to miss anything we'll be discussing everything that will improve your fish farming business so have you done that the subscribe button is down there click it so the very first mistake i made was i cited my eating point in the wrong location on a dry land imagine that and it was completely dry not swampy so I had to keep on pumping water, pumping water and water was not retained on this land. The land was not retaining water at all. So where would I put my fishes? Uh -oh. So alternatively, I decided to incur extra costs of going to get a pond liner to line the interior of the pond so that the pond can retain some water. And yes, water was being retained to an extent, not completely. So every time I needed to constantly keep on pumping water in order to top the water level to the level I wanted it to be. So let's go straight to number two. So the second mistake I made was not getting the right seeds. What do I mean by seeds? Seeds means the fingerlings, your juvenile, your fry, your post fingerlings that you stuck into your pond. I got the wrong ones. I bought what they call runs. What do I mean by runs? Look at this. So that's how runs are. These runs do not grow. No matter how you feed them, you just keep on feeding them and feeding them, they do not grow. So I kept on feeding them and no results. They were not growing past a particular level. That is exactly how runs are. So this was serious and huge mistake that you should not make the number three mistake i made was expanding the business as a solution to me not making profits it's a bad business decision to try to expand a failing business without first trying to know where the problem lies so i dug three more ponds to make four in order to stock more fishes thinking i was going to get more profits so that is a very big no for a fish farmer. Do not try to expand your fish farm business without first trying to know where the problem lies. The fourth mistake I made was bad marketing practice. Uh -oh. I decided to wait for five months because I had the plan that I would raise these fishes for five months then sell out. I waited to the very last day of the fifth month before I started looking for buyers to buy my fishes. This is absolutely wrong. Because I didn't get buyers until three weeks after that. And I kept on feeding above, way above my budget for an extra three weeks. So the ideal thing as a fish farmer is before, weeks before you want to sell out you should have started looking for buyers and that was the mistake i made a very huge one don't do the same avoid these four mistakes i made so yours can be better 